Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I had to create a new window, a blank window, so you guys can have a background. I, I'm going to do a couple of short videos real quick. I'm going to talk about one thing that I never thought about. And it is impossible when we consider separation of powers for this to exist. We talked about police officers being in the court and being called officers of the court. We, I promise you, tons of case law showing the two branches cannot coexist. When I finish, I haven't finished it yet. I know, I know, I know the uh, challenges, the constitutional challenges, I haven't finished it yet. Got tons of case law showing that the two branches cannot commingle. There is a rule, people. It is a principle. They cannot commingle. Now, what you heard was the computer starting up. I have a doctor's appointment today. I've been waiting on this appointment since September. So I have a doctor's appointment today, and I have a ride chair that is coming to pick me up because I don't want to be driving in the mud and the rain and all of that sleet and snow and, you know. So they're going to transport me. For free well actually the government is paying them to transport me but it's for free at least it's you know with some strings attached you know if i if i go with them i'm gonna have to get the covid shot you know because that's the price you pay when you accept benefits from the government you know they want to get you into all these contracts which is why i always sign a contract when it says under penalty of perjury i always write in only to the extent as required by law do I agree? Okay. And of course, the law is the supreme law of the land. It's the Constitution. And the Constitution doesn't require me to do any of that bulls. So I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's get back to this separation of powers thing. I only have a couple of minutes to do this video. And then I'm going to do the next video. And then when I do the next video, then I'm going to put both videos up later today. Okay. I said I don't have enough time to do this video. And when I do the next video, I'll put both of them up later today. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. In the United States Congress, somebody do the research. Find out how many of those congressmen and women are former attorneys. Ah, listen to that word, former attorneys. That's a lie. They are not former attorneys because they still are members of the bar. They still have their license. If they have their license, pay attention, they're part of the executive branch. If they have their license as a medical doctor, they are part of the executive branch. You can't be part of two different branches at the same time. Well, when I'm sitting in Congress, I'm not acting as a lawyer. I'm not acting as a doctor. Sorry, that's not how it works, homie. That's not how it works. A judge cannot go, well, I do part-time work for the executive branch, and I do part-time work for the congressional branch. Can't call Mingo. Can't call Mingo. Two hats. You're wearing the same uniform when you do both of them jobs. Wearing the same clothes. You ain't got on a different hat. You ain't got on a different lapel. You're the same person, you ignorant mother. You see what I'm saying, people? That's the problem. That's the problem. That's going to continue to be the problem. Congress has individuals who are operating as attorneys. And then they're also operating as congressional members. This is why nothing can get done in the legislature, because in this country, the people have elected <laughs> attorneys to do legislation, thinking that they know the law. Ladies and gentlemen, attorneys don't know the law. Attorneys know procedure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask an attorney, what is the supreme law of the land? And watch, they speak about well, the United States Constitution and federal laws are the supreme law of the land. When did the people agree to that? Federal laws? Federal laws? What's a federal law? They're talking about statute when they speak of federal law. Federal so-called laws are not supreme law of the land. They never have been, never will be. But this is the response you're going to get. Two branches of government. They operate as legislature and operate as attorneys. Remember, President, so-called President Donald Trump had, oh, and that's, that's a trip, everybody who was on Trump's jock, but anyway, had 
his buddy, his bosom pal, that 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 character that was the mayor of New York, okay, Giuliani, assisting him. So he worked for the executive branch, and he was an attorney for the president. Now, attorneys are part of the executive branch. But when he went into that courtroom, he was an officer of the court. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, they tried to make Trump out to look like he was the underdog, tried to make him out to look like he had been doped. You people need to really pay attention. It was Trump who authorized the vaccines. The vaccines that are still experimental to this day. They're doing a national experiment. They're doing a public experiment. They're not hiding it from everybody. We need as many of you to get vaccinated as possible so we can have a larger demographic. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Okay. Again, I'm not here telling you to get vaccinated, not to get vaccinated. The information that is being produced, that is being published, shows that the individuals who are vaccinated get less severe symptoms. So it's just that simple. If you're going to suffer less, that's a benefit, people. So I'm not, I'm not going to put down the vaccines. I know I can't take it. There are too many side effects that would affect me. Because I am susceptible. I have autoimmune diseases. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but I got four. Four autoimmune disease. So I'm autoimmune compromised. Well, that means you should really get it. No, because if I get it, I will get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're going to get it? No, I'm not going to get it. That's why, that's what I'm trying to say. I ain't going to get it because I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I get what I'm saying. You should get what I'm saying. Or you should just get. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do the next video in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and end this. I just wanted to say, I don't believe this. I don't know why we never thought about this how members of Congress can be serving two branches of government, how officers of the court can serve two branches of the government. Impossible. That is a violation of separation of powers. It is by making such a statement in the last video talking about the deja vu moment. We're going to talk about the matrix. That's one of the videos. I'm, I'm going to do two videos. One of the videos I'm going to do today, we're going to talk about the matrix, y'all, because they done talked about bots. Met a bot lately? We gonna talk about that. Oh, they, they, they didn't added some new stuff. All right, gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll talk in a minute. Take care.